Beat the Pack. Welcome to a four lesson plan. Program Launch Reasons to Quit. Everyone who is here watching these slides is interested in quitting smoking, which is one of the best things to do for your health. In the program overview, we will talk about Beat the Pack, program features, group meetings, resources, today's discussion, reasons to quit, what to expect, and how to get ready. Every part of the body is affected by smoke. As you can see, there are many good health reasons to quit, such as your body gets healthier. Once you quit, you lower your risk of illness. By smoking, you're raising your chance of having a heart attack or stroke. Many types of cancer, lung disease, blocked blood flow to the arms and legs, blindness or cataracts, and gum disease. Smoking sensation offers short-term health benefits. The benefits of quit smoking start almost right after your last cigarette, and they go on throughout your life. Within one day, your heart rate drops and your carbon dioxide levels begin normal. Within months, your heart attack risk starts to drop. Your lungs start to work better and your cholesterol levels improve. You cough less and you breathe better. And many long-term benefits. After you've stopped smoking for about one year, you excess risk of coronary heart disease is cut in half and it goes down from there. Heart disease is the main cause of death in the United States. After five years, your risk for stroke goes down. You have less of a chance of getting cancer too. After 10 years, your lung cancer death rate is reduced by 50% and you have less of a risk of getting pneumonia. You also have a better chance of not getting peptic ulcer disease for fetal arterial disease and other cancers, or COPD, and of not having low birth weight babies. Secondhand smoke. Another great reason to quit is that when you stop smoking, you are no longer generating secondhand smoke and contributing to the increased health risks of these around you. Secondhand smoke is not only the smoke that you exhale, but also the smoke that streams off of a lit cigarette. Secondhand smoke increases the chances of health problems is especially bad for children and women who are pregnant. What to expect? Withdrawal. The truth of the matter is that nicotine is highly addictive and there are physical and mental components to nicotine withdrawal. This is why it is, has been so hard to quit. Symptoms may include nausea, hunger cramps, urges to smoke, depression, and stress. These symptoms may occur if you stop smoking all at once or if you cut back gradually, they can start in as little as a few hours and maybe last a few days or weeks. Of course, the many reasons to quit smoking strongly outweigh any and all of these withdrawal symptoms. But don't forget about the benefits of quitting. Get ready to quit. Write down your triggers. Review the 31 things to do instead of smoke calendar. Plan in advance for how you'll overcome urges. Prepare an emergency kit. Now it's time to get ready and ready to quit. Some preparation planning can help you to set up yourself for success. This review of the 31 things to do instead of smoke calendar will be available. You should also have an emergency kit filled with helpful things and reminders, such as a picture of your kids. Get familiar with it and stock up on some of the suggested items like healthy snacks, sugarless gum, etc. See your doctor. Medical guidelines recommend combining counseling with medication for adult smokers trying to quit. Seeing your doctor is a good way to help you succeed in quitting smoking. Let your doctor know about your interest in quitting smoking. You may be qualified for a variety of medications under the benefit that's offered. Your doctor can tell you what's best for you. The current benefits offered, you can look those up on your medical plan website, whether it be Group Health or Kaiser. How to quit. Pick your quit date sometime soon, but with enough time to digest the idea that this is it. Make that commitment and put that quit date on your calendar. Try not to plan too far ahead, no longer than two weeks away. Decide how you want to quit, all at once or by gradually cutting back. Right before your quit date, throw away everything related to smoking, including cigarettes, ashtrays, lighters, and matches. Let others in your life know and ask for their support. Start to build a support network. Be sure to tell them why you want to quit so that they can remind you when you call on them for support and keep them updated and involved. They will be part of your journey 
so remind them that their support is appreciated. The using of the buddy system handout that will be applied at the end of this session is a helpful guide on choosing a quit buddy. When you quit date rise, it means no smoking, not even a puff. If you do have a slip, recommit to quit right away. Even though it may seem hard, it's better in the long run not to smoke at all. And another one of your handouts is a personal progress tractor. Make a printout. Use it to keep a record of your progress. Finally, keep trying.